All right, among the uh, many transactions already today, uh, one relatively below the radar between the Bucks and the 76ers since Patrick Beverly to Milwaukee with Cameron Payne and a second round pick going back the other direction. What are you hearing about that deal and how it went down? Well, the Milwaukee Bucks all season long have been struggling defensively. Um, point of attack defense has been a problem. Um, so they've been scouring the league, trying to figure out what they can do. They didn't have much assets, um, not, no, no real draft capital to make any significant moves. And so they're able to pick up Pat Bear, um, who is still uh, one of the most uh, tenacious defenders we have out on the perimeter. He, he's, the, he's a guy that brings the edge. But also what's not lost on many people, especially on social media, is that, you know, Pat Bev and Damian Lillard, they have history. A, a ton of history, quite quite the history. And uh, so, you know, people always wonder, like, okay, what is that dynamic? What is that going to look like? How are they going to play out? And so I was able to reach out to Dane and um, get his initial thoughts. And so here's, um, here's what Dane told me about teaming up with Pat Bell. He said, first, I want to say I'm sad to see campaign go. We developed a friendship that I cherish. As for Pat, he brings in an edge and a defensive tenacity on the perimeter that we need. There are not many players who bring it on a nightly like him. I look forward to working together. Our past personal issues don't trump an opportunity to win a championship. So, you know, Dame's locked and loaded and ready um, for the chance to collaborate with Pat. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this thing unfolds and how it looks on the court. There you go. All is already simpatico between Damian Lillard and Patrick Beverly. And Beverly, by the way, if you want defensive intensity, that's the guy to bring in. He's going to bring that immediately, and he's also made himself a more viable offensive player this year, well over 50% on corner threes. Uh, Chris, great as always. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon, maybe, maybe during this show if something else happens. Chris Haynes <laughs> with us from New York. Thank you, Matt.